let's show you how item spawners and vending machines work in GIMK Creative. To find them, you can head to Devices and then click on Inventory Devices. First, we're gonna bring the vending machine out, drop it down. Then we're gonna click on Item Spawner and drop it down. The spawner and vending machine work really well together. So if we click on vending machine, it has a lot of things to choose from. A couple things to focus on when using the vending machine is one, to make sure it says when you purchase something, it's gonna give you an item. The next thing is what's the item that's required to use to purchase? That can be a variety of things. It could be bait all the way down to any type of legendary zapper. Once you've chosen that specific item, it's gonna ask you how many do you want to have or required to purchase that object. So you can change it from one to 12 to really anything you want. It's gonna update whenever you click off of the number. For this example, we're just gonna make it one. The next thing to check for is what's the granted item given to you. For this example, we're gonna give a galaxy fish every time you purchase from the vending machine. Again, it's gonna ask you how many do you wanna give out? We're gonna keep it as one. The very bottom of the screen it says, is this vending machine visible in game? Typically, you're probably gonna say yes to this. If you wanna make it a mystery vending machine where you can't see it on the map and you have to discover it randomly on your own, you could definitely make it invisible uh, to make it kind of a scavenger hunt to find the rare vending machine. All right, your vending machine is up and functioning now. The next step is to actually have the spawner functioning. Once you click on the spawner, it's gonna have a couple different options. It's gonna ask you the item to spawn in for players to collect. Again, we just made it a Blackberry to use to purchase the vending machine, so we'll have to make the Blackberry the spawned in item. Again, it's gonna ask you how many items do you want when you pick it up from the spawner. For this example, we'll make it three. Now that was the featured part of this device. If you go to all options, it's gonna make it a little bit more interesting. Let's say rather than um, a Blackberry, you're wanting to have a really powerful launcher or a different um, object in the game. You can determine how long should it take before the item comes back in, before it respawns. If you wanna make it rare, you wanna increase the time it takes to spawn back in. Maybe it's a minute, maybe it's 30 seconds. If it's a very common item, then you can make it instant or you can make it a second delay. Completely up to you. All right, once we have this put together, we can actually test it out so we can click the play button. Once the game has begun, I can head over to the spawner. It's gonna allow me to click and collect the blackberries. I can head over and purchase my galaxy fish. Now you know how to use the spawner and the vending machine in GimKit Creative.